is a gal from BSN 2222 and today I will be performing the performance evaluation checklist for catheterizing the male and female urinary bladder and perineal care. So the goal of this procedure um, is to safely introduce the catheter into the bladder to promote um, urine drainage. So. Um, for the assessment, um, assemble equipment, and then perform hand hygiene. And then explain the procedure and purpose to the patient. Discuss any allergies, um, especially the iodine and latex. So hi ma'am, I'm Maris Egyal, a student nurse from Perlock State University. Um, the, uh, the procedure that we were going to do is um, the catheterization. So um, the purpose of this is to promote um, urine drainage, um, any allergies po with iodine and latex. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Then next, um, next um, provide good light. Artificial light is recommended. And then provide for clients privacy by um, drawing curtains and closing the doors and then next um, for the female assist the patient in the dorsal lacrum bent position with um, knees flex and uh, the feet by about two feet apart and then next um, for the male assist the patient in this fine position with legs slightly abducted and then um, clean the perineal and genital area using um, water and soap, rinse and dry, and then perform hand washing again. And then next, um, open the sterile catheterization tray on a clean over the bed tail of the bed using um, sterile technique. So, since uh, our hands is considered to be unsterile, we will only be touching by the edges. And then, um, Put on the sterile gloves. And then next, um, place the penetrated sterile drape over the perineal area. And 
then place the um, uh, sterile tray between the um, patient's thigh. Open all supplies. If the catheter is to be indwelling, um, test the catheter balloon. So, um, remove the cup on the tip of the syringe and then attach the syringe refilled with sterile water to the injection port. And then um, inject uh, appropriate amount of fluid. So if the balloon inflates, withdraw the fluid and then um, leave the syringe into the injection port. And then pour um, antiseptic solution into the cotton balls. Or the betadine and then uh, open a urine specimen if the specimen is to be drained and then next um, lubricate the one to two um, inches of the catheter tip For the female, with your thumb and one hand of your non-dominant hand, spread the labia and then identify the meatus. And then next, um, be prepared um, to maintain the separation of the labia with one hand, with one hand and um, until the urine is flowing well and continuously. So with um, using a cotton balls. With uh, help by forceps, clean the labial folds and then the um, directly toward and then directly toward the meatus. So uh, one stroke, one downward stroke, and then discard uh, for after every um, one downward stroke. And then discard. And then clean directly to the hiatus until the rectum and then discard. And then insert the um, catheter about um, 7 to 7.5 or 2 to 3 inches or as urine flows. And then do not use force to push the catheter into the urethra until the bladder. And then ask patient to breathe deeply. So, ma'am, can you breathe deeply po? And then uh, gently rotate the um, catheter. And then if slight resistance is met, as the catheter reaches the external sphincter, and then for the indwelling catheter, um, for the indwelling catheter, as urine drains, um, as urine drains, the uh, advance the um, cat advance the catheter about. Um, 2.5 to 5.0 or 1 to 2 inches for the male um, leave pennies with your non-dominant hand which is then considered to be contaminated and then retract for skin in the uncircumcised male patient and then clean the area using a cotton balls held by um, forceps and then um, using a circular motion moving from the um, hiatus 
and then um, after um, circuit every circular motion, discard um, each cotton balls, and then um, from the miatus to the base of the pennies um, for three cleansing. And then next, um, hold the pennies um, upward or perpendicular to the um, patient's body and then um, gently insert the tip of the syringe, gently um, insert the tip of the syringe on the Uretra and then um, instill 10 ml um, inside the tip of the syringe with um, lubricant and then instill 10 ml of the lubricant and then after that um, insert the tip of the catheter Advanced intermittent catheter about 15 to 20 centimeters or 6 to 8 inches or as urine flows. Do not use uh, force um, to introduce the catheter. If the catheter resists to enter, um, if the catheter resists to enter, ask the patient to drip it to breathe deeply and then um, slightly. Um, rotate the catheter then for both male and female um, if the catheter is to be in dwelling um, inflate the balloon according to the uh, manufacturer's recommendation are uh, usually 5 ml and then tag gently the um, catheter after the balloon is inflated to feel for resistance and then secure the upper tie with velcro strap and tape um, leave stuck in the um, leave stuck um, in the catheter to allow leg movement and then um, check the drainage tubing um, that is not kink and then um, the movement of the side rails does not interfere the catheter or drainage bag and then um, hang the catheter below the uh, bed of the bed. So after the procedure, um, remove the equipment and make patient comfortable in bed. And then dispose the um, contaminated material in the proper disposal. And then um, clean and dry the perineal area. And then um, cover the patient or privately. And then um, care for the equipment um, as per agency policy and then perform hand hygiene um, remove the gloves and then dispose them in proper disposal and then wash hands uh, and or perform hand hygiene So after washing hands or performing hand hygiene, um, record the time of catheterization, the amount of urine removed, and then the description of urine uh, and patient's reaction to the um, procedure and then your name.